Hi, this is Jeff Ryle from Mica Geosystems, and today we're going to go over uh, CS20. We're going to talk about job management. We're going to talk about how to delete jobs, hide them on the carousel. Then we're going to format an SD card, back up all the settings to this from the CS20 to the to the uh, SD card, and then we'll go over a quick way to back up the jobs using Windows. There's a bunch of jobs, and then delete them to free up space. And this will make the uh, CS20 run a little bit faster, okay? So what we'll do is uh, on the CS20, we'll pop the bottom lid, and then I put an SD card in. You can use a USB as well. And then basically, when you put in a USB or SD card, the CS20 will create these subdirectories. So the data is where the DXF and ASCII files are stored. Uh, GPS, geoid, under data is where the uh, geodal models go. And DBX, that's where all the jobs are. So underneath the DBX, you'll see your job names. And then underneath there is an image, in, image subdirectory, and that's where all your photographs are taken and stored. OK, here we have the CS20. And what we're going to do is take a look at our jobs, F6 jobs. This will show us what jobs are on the internal memory. You can just click, and it puts a line through the eye. That will hide these jobs in the carousel if you just want to hide certain ones to make it easier to manage. Um, if I just have a few jobs, I can come in, highlight that job, and hit delete. And that will then delete that job from internal memory. Okay. This takes quite a while, but if you just have a few jobs, that's an easy way to do it. Um, another neat thing is if I had a current job here, I could click on it, transfer a job. This will transfer and back this job up to the SD card. So that's a quick way any photographs will be backed up. But I'll show you another fast way to uh, back all the jobs up. First of all, let's go to settings. And then what we're gonna do is take a look at tools and format. And then I can, I got my SD card, I can format this. It's good to do this every couple of weeks to keep it clean. Just back up your data first because it's gonna wipe everything out, okay? It just takes a few seconds to do it. And what we'll do now is we'll go in and we'll back up all the settings. So hit settings, tools, transfer objects. We're going to update firmware on this unit. We'll say all objects from internal to the SD card. I'm going to say do not have to transfer the jobs. If you have more than 50 jobs, this could take quite a while, like 10, 15 minutes. So we'll hit OK. This is going to back up all your code lists, all your coordinate systems, geodal models, server lists, all the important information. So it's good once you configured a CS20 to back up all your settings to an SD card or to a USB stick and put it in with your instrument. All right, so this should just take a few a few minutes. Do you want to transfer any more information? We'll say no. Now what I'll do is down here is the Windows button. So hit Function and Windows at the same time. It'll take me to the Windows screen. I come up here to My Device. And under My Device, be Leica Geosystems, Leica Captivate, DBX. Here's a whole bunch of jobs. So let's back these up first. I'm going to come up here and hit edit, select all, they turn blue, highlight them, hit copy. I'll arrow back up to the main screen, and I got my SD card. I can go to DBX, hold that down, hit paste, and this will back all the jobs up. I got a bunch of jobs here, so what I'll do is I'll just cancel it, but you'll see it's copying the jobs, and since there's a lot of jobs, this might take a while to back up. But this just shows you the procedure, so we'll hit cancel. Let's imagine all these are now backed up. Now I want to go back up to my device and delete these jobs to free up space. We'll go to Leica, Captivate, DBX, here's all our jobs. Once again, hit edit, select all like we did before. And now instead of hitting copy, we'll hold the status down and halfway down is the delete button. And we'll say yes. Now, it's gonna delete all the jobs, and after like a minute or so, we'll have to empty the recycle bin. And we'll keep prompting you this, to do this, and if you have a bunch of jobs, you might have to do this several times. So once again, this will just create more space and make your CS20 run faster, and um, this is the fastest way to copy, back up, and then delete the jobs. Okay, so I'll just hit cancel for now, and uh, that concludes this video.